about Final Cut Pro X. So let's go to the App Store. And we're gonna choose Final Cut Pro X. Let's install it. Put in my password. And now it's installing. Now I'm going to install Motion. And I'm going to install Compressor. Okay, YouTube, let's check out the status of Final Cut Pro X compressor in motion Final Cut Pro is downloading motion is waiting and compressor is waiting I usually use either iMovie 11 or I'll use Adobe Premiere Pro I use, I have Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 and I also use this for my video editing needs and I, I just like to try out Final Cut Studio because I never used it before so let's go to the show OK, no, cancel, open project And this is Adobe Premiere Pro. And I've been using this for over a year. So I, I go back and forth. If I want to do something really quick, I just use iMovie 11. So this is Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. Compressor is done, Final Cuts Pro is done, and Motion is done. So let's check out. Final Cut Pro X. And this is Final Cut Pro X. And my first impressions of it, I like it. I have to get used to it because this is the first time I'm be using Final Cut Pro. But so far, I like it. Looks nice. And your text. And I right off the bat, this is from iMovie 11. This is from iMovie 11. But all the rest, this is new. She's very cool i move 11 so that's your text video transition so we import your files so let's import a movie just for example I'm going to drag this into the timeline and play it. What up YouTubers, it's 34 Skyline and today I'm going to do a App Store app. So it looks pretty cool. It's very easy to import movies. And you can do like a blur.
which is cool. They're kind of like a 3D kind of thing. It's like, that's cool. Okay. Let's see. I have to get used to it. Like I said, this is the first time I've been using this kind of software, so I have to get used to it. it but it looked just like iMovie a lot. Just had to get used to it. So let's open. Motion. Open. And this is motion. We can just try something out here. Let me grab a picture. Okay, I don't want to drag this in here. Okay, and then I can go into library, inspector. Filters, and let's do a blur, and a zoom blur, apply. I just have to get used to it, like I said, this is the first time I've been using this, which is pretty cool. I'm just giving you guys an example how to use. Well, I don't know how to use it myself. This is this motion right here. Okay. So I'm going to close this out and don't save it. And let's open up Compressor. Okay. And this is Compressor. And look at here. You can choose a template for the batch. You can create audio podcast, create a Blu-ray disc, create DVD, HTTP live streaming, and public and publish to Apple TV and YouTube. And I know I know many of you guys want to have questions. They said how you can figure something out if they don't come with instructions. Well, Apple post online instructions to help you with Final Cut Pro X. And I saved it on my Safari. It's Motion 5 instructions, online instructions. And there's Compressor 4 online instructions. It'll tell you what to do or if you can't figure it if you can't figure anything out, this will, should help you out with your needs. So I'll put the, the links in the description if you guys need to know where the links are. But these are the online instructions to Final Cut and Compressor and Motion 5. Could you leave your comments, video replies? Tell me what kind of video editing software you guys use for your YouTube videos or your personal use. I'll be using Final Cut Pro X Motion and Compressor with a 12 core Mac Pro with 32 gigs of RAM.